and we'll read starting with verse 16, that's Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. Paul says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. For what the flesh wants is opposed to the Spirit. And what the Spirit wants is opposed to the flesh. And these are opposed to each other. So that you cannot do the things that you please, and you do not do what you want to do. For if you are then led by the Spirit, you are no longer under the written law. Because the deeds of the flesh are made evident. And the results are very clear because the acts of the flesh are obvious. And these are sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, and lustful pleasure. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, for out of the heart comes evil thoughts, idolatry, and sorcery, hatred, discord, jealousy, and rage, rivalries, divisions, and factions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these, I warn you as I have warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. For those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. And since we live by the Spirit, let us walk in step with the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of empty glory provoking one another, envying one another. Amen? Amen. May God bless his word to us as we have read it and as we study it together. I ask that everyone would join me in prayer. Father, the words of our hymn is the expression of our hearts. Believing that you have appointed your word to purposes that will accomplish the purpose that you have appointed. That we look to its truth as we look to our Lord Christ Jesus in order that Christ may bring that word home to our hearts so that together we may be increasingly conformed in his image. Amen. Amen. Now I ask that you would look back with me to the 22nd and 25th verse of Galatians chapter 5. And though these are familiar verses, let us reread them please. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. For if we live in the Spirit, then let us also walk in the Spirit. Amen? Amen. Dearly beloved, God is building us a temple. And within the framework of his purposes, we are to serve in such a way that is emblematic of his glory and his majesty. We are to understand that the things that are found on the outside of the temple are not found on the inside of the temple, such as 
This world and its ways we are not to follow. And since this is true, that God is building a temple, then it is that we are where God lives. So that when people encounter us, gathered in this way, they have the opportunity to see that this is the dwelling place of God with man. The Lord wants to teach us what it is to be good. And not as this world would teach us, but by every word that God has commanded. And this is very important, that his spirit is running through our whole framework, pressing on all sides, in our family life and in the workplace, reaching out to our loved ones, and our neighbors. It is that God should affect us that everyone who comes in contact with us should be affected. I ask, does your character make people want to believe the gospel? And I'm not talking about your ability to articulate words or speaking the good news that's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking, does your character make the gospel attractive to others? Does the way that you act cause others to want to accept Jesus Christ for themselves? Ask yourselves this question. The Apostle Peter wrote, Make sure you make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and knowledge, steadfastness and godliness, with brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love. We should start with faith and end with love. Again and again throughout the epistles, whether by James, John, or even Peter, we are all encouraged as people of faith that we should start in faith but end in love. When Peter encouraged the people of Colossae, he tells them to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him and bearing fruit in every good work. So the attractiveness of coming into a place of good fragrance, a place of peace and sound judgment, a place that consumes you with beauty and loveliness, all of these things, these are in the framework that is the structure of his temple. The fruit of the Spirit should be in each one of us. And as we hang from the vine, we should also be looked upon by those who desire to eat of the good fruit. For if a man be overtaken in his fault, you which are spiritual should restore such a one in spirit of meekness, considering yourselves, lest you also be tempted. For if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Amen. Amen. May the goodness of our Lord God forever be with you all. Amen. Amen.